hello everyone. I do have a second battery here for the DK200 and I was thinking about how to mount it. I put it in a backpack and that wasn't working for me. Just walking around the house was very uncomfortable. Probably unsafe also if you happen to land on your back and you've got this hard object giving you a spinal realignment. So I decided to mount it on the bike and this is what I came up with. I've got some rather firm insulation here kind of nesting it in. The battery's very happy in this spot, actually, uh, using these rails to support it. These are 15-inch tie-downs from Steelton. Got four of these. Put a little bit of foam back here because uh, just to limit its movement. So this will move, it will flex. But when you ride it, I can't feel anything. So I took it on a 40-mile ride and it worked perfectly. On that ride, I also had tape across the top just so these didn't move. And there's also another option. You can do a 21, 21 inch to go around here, pulling it up and back so it doesn't have to um, contact the front battery. Here I've got a, a little bumper going. I'm charging up for my ride today. I'm going to try it, try it again. It seems to be working perfectly. Also, I fixed my um, slow leak in the back with some slime. This is the green stuff you can get pretty much anywhere. And half a dose of slime fi fixed my slow leak, so I'm pretty happy. All right, so what do you think? It's kind of got a nasty piranha shark's tooth Hellraiser look to it. I think it looks cool, and it's doubled my range, so just thought I'd share that. All right, be safe.